Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is City Skylines. And Animalia is now a small city. So we've got access to some extra policies, which we might spend a bit of time actually having a rummage around with in a bit. Uh, I think might, might this, the goal of the next episode, or the next uh, recording block, will be to really get involved and have a look at that's optimizing some of our policies. We can build a hydropower plant, which we might have a look at briefly, cargo train and train stations, which is what we really, really wanted. We now have a lump sum of money, thanks to meeting that requirement. So we should be able to gut all of this, um, build a train station in the middle of the Donkey Mine district, and then build a road network and a train network. So the first thing I want to do is bring a train line in to a train station here, and then we're probably also going to be looking at putting a train station in um, here. See what kind of space we can do. We'll try and put a train station in next to our great big bus station. So the reason being that I think it's a really good optimization of city properties. And we've got a fair bit of space on this side. So we may end up having to go underground a little bit with our train line. Um, it's our first tunnel just to bring it underneath the B shopping district because I don't really want to have to demolish anything particularly aggressive. But there's nothing in that line other than that Japanese peace garden that I think I uh, can't afford to be moved. I think we might have enough space. So without further ado, uh, I have put a bus lane in that runs all the way along here. So I just need to go and find a bus. So let's make that tourism line. Um, let's go down to the oranges and make it a kind of muddy orange. And we'll just double check that that has indeed, yep, so now we have the muddy orange line. It doesn't just service this part of town. I also had it run up and down the monkey strip. So now we've got a bus line that does lots of stops in our um, leisure district and our tourism district. We've not had any the buildings pop in just yet. Um, they do have power, they do have water. The tourist trap will fill in slowly but surely as time goes on. We've got people playing beach volleyball. We've got uh, visitors last week, one, visitors last week, one. Well, definitely more than one person there notionally. So these things will, they'll gather people. People will have a wander and they'll have a look. And this little turnabout thing is working reasonably well. The people that do have to apparently have to stop at the light to turn around, but it does mean they don't have to go all the way down to there to sort themselves out. What I might do, actually, while I'm briefly here, is demolish that and put in a road like that still got the stop signs it's really annoying it's still got the stop signs it's not much I can do about that other than trying to put some kind of bizarre one way loop in but uh, I think I'm going to leave it on that and just quickly grab a zone and repaint that as it was so um, just perhaps slightly cheaper to have them turn around on that yes done yeah, the traffic's called itself out. So, we've got a large wad of cash. We've got a large wad of people. Our next objective is to demolish all of this and look at rebuilding. Just look at the traffic problem we've got. Wow. So, let's start off by scruffing. All of the roads. All right, that's the roads gone. We've got a huge demand for residential. Um, okay. Turn that off. So you were a medical clinic. Got plenty of support for that over there. So you can just tuck in on that corner and make everyone happy down there. Then you were a firehouse. So I've got good support all the way around this bit. This bit's getting completely rebuilt. So let's just have you on that corner there. So I've got, you can just dump it on the main road and get on with it. So that lot's going to take a while to sort itself out. But first things first, I need to bring the train line in. Trains. Apparently I need to build a train station first. So let's put our train station in. Where I said I was going to have a look at doing it. Ah, that's the Peace Garden. These Peace Gardens make me unpeaceful. 
moved. No longer problems with the Peace Garden. So that's the train station. So let's put you in there. Let's have a look what we do we get. So we've got double track coming out, double track coming in. Just kind of stops there. It's directly opposite the bus station, so getting to and from it should be quite nice. It's tourism only, so it will produce a lot of people, but it shouldn't cause us too many problems. Now we need to connect that up to over there. Um, and I think probably the best way of doing that is going to be going underground. So let's get back to our railway solution. Distance too short. All right, now. If I push page down, slope too steep, slope too steep. There we go. Okay, so that's how far I need to go. Okay, so there's a corner. That apparently didn't work. <laughs> Just demolished perfectly good buildings for no reason. You out to here, out to there, page down. Okay, so that's gone. Okay, that's going up. There we go. So, let's bring you... Please be so kind as to re-emerge from your subterranean dwelling. Let's put a slightly gentler curve on that, shall we? And then we will be going for a straight line. Up to about there, where we will be going up. Down and then we will be doing our best to connect in such a way that we can have our train system plugged in. That did not connect. I think what I'm probably going to have to do, actually, is back that up a bit so that I can build a split. To go, oop, not up. We need to go all the way across here. Into there. And then I will take that out. Still got the railway line in. Grab that point. Come up to a bridge. Is that a connect? That's a connection. There we go. Come across. And then. Nice long route. So that gives us a nice V interchange so that our traffic shouldn't have any problems getting back and forth. That now means that you are connected. So let's just quickly grab that and a brush, plug that back in. So yeah, it's going to be a dead end train station for now. At some point, you might look at, you know, rapidly diving in or under this so that road may move, um, which will cause absolute sodding havoc for my bus lanes, but uh, hopefully we won't need to look at nudging that around too much just yet. So we have a train station, which means we can build train lines. So the other thing I want to do is put in over here our train station in the heart of our donkey-like mines. So let's have a look. Where is the donkey mines? There is the donkey mines. So the center of the donkey mines is about there-ish. So I need to put in a small section of straight road. 
Let's make it... It needs to be one-way road, from what I remember. Small section, one-way road. And then we will add onto that our cargo routes, train lines. Oh, that's for doing trains. We've only got the one train station. So we will add onto that our cargo train station. Now, the reason we've gone with a one-way road Not enough money. Okay. The reason we've gone with the one-way road is so that traffic going in and out of this doesn't get in each other's way. Now, hopefully, and then traffic will come along here, pile into there, cause things, and then come out again. Just having them along a one-way road just makes life so much, 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 much simpler. So what we need to do now is plug that into our railway network. Now, no train will ever need to go from here to here. So I'm happy just to plug that in on a straight arc. So trains, lines, straight line. Bingo. Mr. Mr. Brunel, Mr. Brunel, Mr. Brunel, I've got a problem with your train lines, Mr. Brunel. What's that, Jimmy? They don't connect, Stephen. <laughs> They don't connect. I'm missing one of the fundamental features of a train line. Is it, what's that? Well, they should connect. They should be track. Like that. So this will be a single in and out point. So what do we need to do from now is design the rest of our road network, which is going to go around all of this. So first things first is I want a new... Well, you can carry on laying this out. So let's switch to... Yeah, it's not that much more expensive. So, show me the extent of donkey mines so that I can get an edge on the perimeter. So, it's about there or so. Okay, back to roads. So, it goes all the way out to about there. Double check again. Yes, so that's my end point. So, all the other roads that go around this. So, let's give a heavy industrial road. It goes out to about there. Here, there, comes across. I wonder how small a bridge I can make. Page up, page down, page up. Hmm, oh, perfect. And then I should be able to grab a one-way road and connect that in. And then we can carry on with our thing. So how far out do we want the document? So that's that area. Now let's look at our natural resources. So the mine actually comes out a much, much further. So the mine comes out to about here-ish or so. Yes, yeah, so the mine comes out to about there. So roughly around there-ish. So let's go back to the district mode. Painting districts. Great big splodge. There we go, there's the donkey mines. So we're just basically going to build a road network that encompasses all of this. And at some point we're going to run out of money and I'll have to let it tick on for a bit. Let's double check. Yes, I can go a bit further. The idea is there'll be no junctions whatsoever on that road. Nothing. So all this is about is getting tra tra traffic to the train station and then away, to the train station and then away, to the train station and then away, to the train station and then away. Now, traffic getting in and out shouldn't be too much of a problem, but I am kind of tempted to move this to the center so that it is any cues that form aren't going to cause me a absurd amount of problems. So yeah, I've got space for them to queue up, and I've got space for them to queue out, because I don't think there are any traffic lights. No, there are traffic lights down there. I don't want this to be causing too much of a problem. So that's the basic layout. So now we need to look at um, filling in the rest of this area up here. 
So we'll grab our core road. Let's take you from up here. Because I'm pretty sure, let me just double check. I'm always going to be double checking, I'm sorry about that. That we've got some natural resources in this area. So let's grab from about here. Bring a road up to there. Come across. To about there. Not enough money. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ran out of cash before we added the triple to actually do a new, new rebuilding work. So, um, let's just let that run on for a bit. Oh, that's a point. Can we take any loans? Can we take any loans? You can take a little loan. Still 88 weeks left to pay on this one. This will get us 28,000. So I'll take that because we can easily afford the 400 and a bit for now, he says. And we will grab that road and plow you to there. Yeah. Take you back just a little bit. We go. So we have our bridgeway. Okay, so that's land organized. So now we need to start putting in the roads that crisscross this and turn it into an actual industrial estate. Before we do too much more than that, the other thing I need to do is make sure, because this is a lot of vast amount of construction work, has a not insignificant chance of causing me some absurd power problems. I don't want to end up in a position where I don't have any power. So for the last few minutes of this episode, because um, I'm going to let this run on afterwards um, to generate a bit more cash. Um, what I'm probably going to do is zone this area in with little roads. So let's get on and do some of that. Let's scrub those power lines. Let's make sure we've got a little bit of water to our, uh, that guy, because I don't want that position where this guy doesn't have any power. Okay, so that's got power, it's got water. The other one's already got power and water because it's in the middle of, a in the middle of a district. So we're just going to grab our simple little roads and we are going to... <laughs> Here's the other thing. I've not plugged this into the main roads yet. I should probably do that before I completely run out of cash so we can at least get some people working here. Um, yes, let's quickly grab the motorway, grab an off-ramp. How much are you? 70 so All right, I should be able to afford a junction right about of some sort. Do I need one? Or can I just have... Yeah, I don't guess I need one. Let's grab a six lane and bring it to about straight six lane, please. And bring it to about here. And then let's grab some on and off ramps. So that is going that way. That is coming out again. You come out to there. Go page up. We have woo. Cross the thing. Come down again, and then go in the other way. Please. Okay, so we're out of cash again, but we've at least got that plugged in. Um, there is an amount of power and water in the area. So I'm going to quickly do some industrial zoning. Paint bucket, 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 paint bucket. Not on that side, that's an entrance way. Um, and hopefully... No, let's uh, not do that lot too far away from anything existing. Hopefully, this little lot will give us some cash and some industry so that we don't immediately, you know, 
horribly, horribly crash out. Um, I do have just enough money to fill that gap in. And hopefully, everything that I've industrialized has water. Yes, it does. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we'll see how badly this has all gone horribly wrong. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. Please remember to like and subscribe.